Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Top Lung Health. In this one I'd like to discuss a little bit about inhalers containing corticosteroids in the treatment of COPD. So this is a very specific topic but I think some of you who may be suffering with COPD may find it interesting, may find it helpful as a point of view of why we use inhaled corticosteroids in this condition. This comes as a response to a question that I received on my YouTube channel. So I'll Oops, I'll read the comment, the question out to you in, in a second. So let me just bring it up right now. So basically, uh, Kathy is asking this question. I use an oro ellipta once per day, first thing in the morning. I also use a flow vent inhaler, which is an inhaled corticosteroid inhaler, twice per day. The first about mid-morning and the second late at night. But I sometimes forget the second. I'm beginning to wonder why I need to use the second flow vent at all. So first of all, a noroelipta is a treatment for COPD generally. I think this is important to, to try to clarify what these inhaler names mean. So in COPD, the goal of inhaler treatment is to actually open up the airways as, for as long as possible, as much as possible. So we're trying to use bronchodilator medication to keep the airways open. So they act on the little muscles in the airways. They relax the muscles in the airways. So that leads to just a little bit more space to breathe as the little bronchioles, the little airways in the lungs, they open up a bit more. Now, in COPD, like I said, the main goal of treatment, we use these bronchodilators and then that keeps the airways open. But we also sometimes use inhaled steroids, inhaled corticosteroids. Corticosteroids are anti-inflammatory medication. They are generally used mostly in asthma, where there is a lot of inflammation in the airways and we're trying to keep that inflammation under control. However, some patients who suffer with COPD, with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, they also benefit from low doses of corticosteroids in their inhalers, but not all. Generally, it's more severe cases or cases in which there are a lot of flare-ups of the COPD every year. So if you're having more than two or three flare-ups or exacerbations per year for your COPD, probably using the inhaled corticosteroid may help reduce these. This is the evidence, at least. There is some evidence to using anti-inflammatory agents in COPD as well, because there may be cases, there may be different types of COPD from person to person, it may differ, where there is quite a bit of inflammation in their airways as well. So it's a little bit of a condition that's closer to asthma in some regards, but it's not asthma. The, the, the use of inhaled corticosteroids in this situation is slightly for a different reason, is to reduce the rate of flare-ups. Whereas in asthma, it's to reduce the chance of getting asthma attacks. So asthma attacks can happen on, you know, on a daily basis. However, flare-ups, exacerbations in COPD, occur less often. But in any case, that is the reason why someone with COPD may be prescribed inhaled corticosteroids. So in this question, anoroelipta was a treatment for COPD that contains two inhaled bronchodilators, so medications that open up the airways, and Flovent is an inhaler that contains uh, fluticasone, which is an inhaled corticosteroid. And that's been prescribed. So anoroelipta is taken once a day, this is the normal uh, duration of action. It's a once daily inhaler. It's a fantastic inhaler because you only need to use it once. But then the steroid is given twice a day because normally most inhaled st corticosteroids need to be taken in that manner. So for some patients, just using it once a day may be enough in COPD. However, I would really recommend to follow your doctor's instructions. So if they thought in your case that you need to use it twice a day, it may be better to discuss it with them. Um, see exactly what the benefits are for using it twice versus once. Um, it has something to do with the duration of action of that co inhaled corticosteroid because there's a reason why it's been prescribed in that fashion. And I would say always try to understand with your doctor why you are on a certain treatment. Now, in this case, of course, if, uh, if you know, the person is feeling really well under this treatment with just once daily use of the inhalers, it may be great. It may be fantastic. However, I would hate for your condition to destabilize over time because you've reduced the medication when you are feeling well. What happens in respiratory conditions if you are using 
inhaled corticosteroids to keep your airway inflammation under control to prevent flare-ups etc the moment when you reduce that medication that protection starts to go away starts to win it may not be something that happens suddenly but you may be slowly slowly become more prone to getting flare-ups in copd in asthma it's a completely different story so if you're listening to this uh, episode and you are having asthma their inhaled corticosteroids are the most important treatment they're even more important than bronchodilators so that's really what will keep the asthma attacks at bay but in copd the indication is a little bit less precise it's generally inhaled corticosteroids for cases which are a little bit more severe and which have a lot of flare-ups every year so i hope that uh, this little comment was helpful if you are suffering with copd if you are on inhalers if you are on inhaled corticosteroids and you're not really sure why if you have further questions do go to the youtube channel and leave a comment there visit the website toplunkhealth.com and i hope to see you in future episodes all the best and good health to you